Hi, my name is Mattius Sikorko and I work as a SEMS project manager here at Casmet Technologies. We've been asked to make a couple of videos to show you what we do here and what our products look like. The purpose of this video is to introduce to you our continuous emission monitoring system, or SEMS2 as we call it. Where is it then needed? Well, if an industrial plant burns something like waste, coal, oil or biofuels, so after the energy is used in the process, what is left is the flue gases. Usually these flue gases are first cleaned and then led into a chimney or stack and then released to the atmosphere. Uh, in many countries, a permit is needed to run this plant. And in the environmental section of this permit is mentioned what is allowed to, what kind of gases are allowed to let into the atmosphere and what they are containing. Therefore, the plant owner needs to invest to certain measuring equipment in order to be able to measure and report to the authorities what is coming out of the stack and how much. Well, here's where we step in. In the market for emission monitoring systems, there are many manufacturers, each with their own measurement technologies. These technologies can be roughly divided into two categories. One is in-situ analyzers and two extractive analyzers. In-situ analyzers are mounted directly in the stack and no sample is led outside of the stack. But usually the uh, one in-situ analyzer can analyze only a few components. So if you have many components to analyze, you need many analyzers. In extractive analyzer systems, we take a small sample of the flue gas and lead it via probe and sample line into the analyzer which is located somewhere in a separate room or, or measuring shelter. Analyzers itself can also be divided into two categories. Category A is the analyzers that cannot tolerate water and category B that can tolerate water. In category A measuring systems you have to have a dryer in a sampling system so that the water or the moisture is removed from the sample gas before it's introduced to the analyzer. The category B analyzers, on the other hand, can tolerate water. Gasmet SEMS 2E emission monitoring system is equipped with an analyzer that belongs to the better B category. Better in that sense that it's more simple and more accurate. Simple because there are no dryers or any kind of converters needed, and more accurate because all water soluble components are analyzed. None of them is dissolving into the condensate. Let's take a closer look into our product then. The cabinet is roughly 2 meters in height and 60 centimeters in width. And there is door in the front and in the back of the cabinet. When we open the door, we are able to see the 19-inch modular design of our components. In the top, we have the computer with the display and keyboard and mouse. The next module is our sampling system module, following with an optional oxygen analyzer. And the bottom, we have our pride and joy, our FTIR analyzer. FTIR stands from Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy. Yeah, it's a bit complex name, and actually it's a bit complex technology. Therefore, if you want some more details and want to learn more about it, please look a separate tutorial video about it. The link should appear over there. After the system is commissioned and tested, you don't normally need to make any changes to the configuration anymore. You just need to visually check the system that there are no alarms active and that only this one result valid green LED is illuminated. And you need to check that there is pressure in a nitrogen bottle. Because nitrogen is needed for the background measurement, which is really important for the accuracy of the measuring results. This is the only calibration which needs to be done regularly, and in our case it's done once per day, fully automatically. The span gases are fed to the analyzer just to check the accuracy, not to perform any calibrations. We have recently got results from a customer survey 
and they all were very happy for the SEMS2 reliability. Now it's time to thank you for your time and interest towards our products. If you have any further questions, please contact us or our local representative. Thank you and take care.